Hey everyone, how's it going? Mackenzie here. Representing Yoga Pod for Collins. Thanks for joining. Here for Saturday afternoon yoga flow. Um, today we are specifically working through our flow one sequence, which that changes seasonally. Right now we're moving through our spring flow, um, working towards a peak posture of Ardha Chandrasana, which is half moon pose. Um, half moon pose, there's a lot going on within it. So we're balancing on one foot in half moon. We're also expanding through our arms, opening our chest, and then we're also expanding through our legs, so opening our hips as well. So um, as we move through this flow, we are going to be working on, hi Rachel, thanks for joining, um, working on those things specifically. So you could certainly go through this whole flow without any sort of props, um, but if you do have any props around the house, I would recommend finding a block. Now you may not have an actual yoga block at your house, that's totally okay. You could like find a really thick book or even stack a couple books on top of each other. Um, and you could also, hey cat, um, you could also get like a, like a water bottle or a can of soup or something like that. Just something that has a little bit of height to it. Um, that's really all that you will need. And I did include a link for a Spotify playlist. I love to flow to music, and so I like to include a link for anybody who likes to listen to music as they flow. Actually, I'm getting mine put up right now because I'm going to be listening to some music while I guide you through it. So if you see me on my phone, it's I'm not like answering the text or anything. I might be like turning up the volume or something. Um, and what else we got? It's nice and sunny here in Colorado. I was going to do the class outside, and then my neighbor started mowing. So, stuck inside for today. Maybe tomorrow we'll be outside. But for those of you who are watching, go ahead and say hi. I know I have multiple people, multiple eyeballs on. Um, to start class, though, we are going to come seated on our mat, and then we're going to lie down onto our back here. So, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees open wide. This is Supta Baddha Kanasana, reclined bound angle or butterfly pose, it's often called. And this is a big hip opener just to get right into it. So soles of your feet to touch, knees open wide. And then you can lay down onto your back here. So I'm going to recommend one hand to belly, one hand to heart. This just helps you kind of get grounded into your body and your breath. Begin to notice where your breath lies. Is it high up into your chest? Are you breathing through your nose, through your mouth? Are they shallow? Are they deep? Just take notice. Don't make any changes yet. Just kind of focus here on your breath. Just notice what it's doing. Now I, with myself, notice that my breath is very shallow. So I encourage us to begin to find some depth within your breath. So take a deep inhale. And exhale out your mouth. Let it go. We're going to find Sama Riti breath. So Sama Vritti literally translates to equal part breath. So we want to, again, find space and length within those inhales and exhales. So begin by releasing all your air out of your belly. And we're going to take an inhale for a count of four. So one, two, three, four. Hold at the top. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom. A few more rounds here. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold at the top. And exhale for four, 
three, two, one, hold. Loop through a few more rounds here. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Feeling your belly rise as you inhale. Hold at the top. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Belly lowers as you exhale. Go through one more round here at your own pace, counting to yourself. Hold at the top and exhale. Really breathe into your hips here. So we're starting with this deep hip opener. Take your breath down into the depths of your hips, the inside, the outside edges. One more round here, just in your normal breath. But notice maybe it's a little bit deeper than how your breath started at the beginning of class. So we've opened up, cleared some way into our airways. Now to release, bring your hands to the outside edges of your thighs and slowly guide your knees back to center. Go ahead and curl your knees into a chest. Find some compression here on the front side of your body. Maybe you swing from side to side. This gives me a nice little massage in my low back area. Then we're going to rock and roll from the front of the mat to the back, gaining some momentum with each rock and roll here. And then eventually moving into a tabletop. So plant your hands, step back one knee at a time. So finding your foundation, wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Your spine is long and straight to begin with. And now we're going to move through cat-cow. So moving with our breath. Inhale for cow. Drop your belly. Take your gaze up to the sky. We're opening through the front side of the body. And exhale for cat. Press the mat away. Find that flexion through your spine. Tuck and curl your chin. Inhale, cow, gaze up, shine through your collarbone, maybe soften through your elbows. Exhale, cat, press through your palms, through your knees, hug your navel to your spine. A couple more rounds here. Inhale, cow, gaze up, send your hips up, shoulders back. Exhale, cat. <laughs> Last round here. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Perfect. <clears throat> Inhale, come back to tabletop position. And then I want you to just find some organic movement here within your tabletop. So whatever that looks like for you. I like to kind of move through my cat-cow a little bit quicker. Maybe you gaze over one shoulder at a time when you're in your cow. Maybe when you're in your cat, <clears throat> you take barrel rolls with your hips from one side to the other. Just close your eyes, really feel what your body is craving right now. Doesn't matter what you look like. Just want it to feel good. One more round of breath here. Inhale, come back, tabletop position. Curl your toes under. And exhale, downward facing dog is where we'll meet. <clears throat> so send your hips high here. Always know when you're downward facing dog, you can bend, <clears throat> bend your knees as much as you need. The goal is to get a long, straight spine. So bending your knees is going to be imperative to find that length and that that, yeah, that length through your spine. Really press the mat away from you. Find a big, wide grip here through your hands. Almost pressing up right in the middle of your grip. Bringing a little bit of weight into your fingertips. This will help release some pressure from your wrists. <clears throat> and continue to breathe here. Using your exhales to push your hips up a little bit higher. 
Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Bend your knees if you haven't already. And use your exhale to walk your feet up to your hands. So you're coming into a forward fold at the top of the mat. So head hangs heavy here. Again, generous bend through your knees if you need. Take your gaze back behind you. I really feel a deep stretch through my hamstrings, my calves, really the entire back side of your body here. Maybe you swing from side to side. Just take some organic movement here in your forward fold. Now your feet should be about hip width distance, toes pointing forward. Maybe you pedal out your legs, maybe you grab for opposite elbows. Take this organic movement here. And then settle into forward fold. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. So lift up through your spine. You're going to hug in through your belly. Draw your shoulders down your back. Exhale, fold. Let it go. Two more. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen. Maybe your fingers come to your shins. Spine is long and straight. Roll your elbows back. Gaze out in front of you. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, halfway lift, option with your fingers. Exhale, fold forward. Root to rise, inhale, come all the way to standing. Arms will follow overhead, bring your palms to touch, extended mountain. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center. Close your eyes here. Sama Stihiti, we're standing at attention. Coming back to our breath. Inhale, extend and mount to reach overhead. And exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana, so hinge at your hips. Now move slow, keep a flat spine the whole way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Again, inhale, extended mountain, urdva hastasana, root to rise, reach overhead. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center, sama sikiti. Inhale, extended mountain, urdva hastasana, reach. Exhale, fold forward, uttanasana, hinge at your hips. Now you're sending your hips back. Again, keep the bend in your knees as you hinge forward. Inhale, halfway lift. This time on your exhale, plant your hands, step back into high plank. Now high plank here, this is the start of our chaturanga. So you want your hands directly under your shoulders. Now take notice here of your hips. Are they piped up higher than your shoulders? If so, draw them back in line. Are they sagging down? If so, engage your core, bring them back in line here. Now, if you're having trouble with that, simply drop it down to your knees. That's okay. You are still building strength here, whether you are on or off of your knees. One more round of breath in your high plank. And then exhale. Go ahead and drop your knees. Come to a seated position. So I'm going to demonstrate the Chaturanga Dandasana. So it is a flow that we move through many times, whether or not you're in a flow one, a flow two, you'll see it a lot in Ashtanga. Um, it's a four part series. So you start in your high plank. <clears throat> now the modified version I'm going to show first, you go ahead and drop to your knees. <clears throat> you're at an extended tabletop here, gaze is out in front of you. So you're going to take your inhale to work your collarbone forward. You're gonna find just a slight tip of your tailbone. You can see my hips almost hinge forward on my inhale. And exhale, lower down. Use the strength of your arms. Keep your elbows hugged in next to your body. Now your hands are already under your shoulders. Tops of your feet root into the mat. Hug your ankles towards each other. Now your feet are rooted so much that maybe your knees lift off the ground. You wanna have engagement through your legs here. Inhale for cobra, lift up through your head, your neck, your upper back. And exhale to release, press back into tabletop. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. <clears throat> so that is a modified version. Now I am going to recommend doing the whole class from your knees. 
doing multiple classes from your knees, really building up that strength within your arms and your core before you do the fullest variation. And the reason being is if we just jump straight to the fullest variation, we're prone to injury within our shoulders. We really want to avoid any sort of injury. Um, it's almost like, you know, you wouldn't jump to chapter 20 of a book. You would read chapters 1 through 19 first so that you were fully prepared for what's happening in chapter 20. So it's the same kind of thing. We really want to make sure that foundation is solid before we're moving forward. So again, we're starting in our high plank. Now, instead of dropping to your knees, you're staying lifted here. You're shifting forward on your inhale. It's very slight. It almost just brings you to the top of your knees and it shifts your shoulders forward over your fingers. From there, exhale lower down halfway. You're hugging your elbows in, you're gazing out in front of you. Now flip the top of your feet, upward facing dog. You're straightening your arms, you're guiding your shoulders down your back. Knees and hips are lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hike your hips high, press the mat away. So again, that's fullest variation. Take your variation as you move through this and be okay with it. You can always hold in high plank, hold in tabletop. We will always meet in downward facing dog. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's move on with our flow. Inhale, right leg high. Send your right heel to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through right in between your hands here. <clears throat> Sorry, bring your right foot next to your right thumb. So we're here in a lunge. Our right knee is over right ankle. Left knee is lifted. Our left heel is lifted. We're gazing out in front of us. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, pyramid. This is a modified variation <clears throat> of pyramid. We're feeling this along the backside of our right leg here. So we're opening up through our calf, through our hamstring, through our SI and our low back. <clears throat> Keep your spine long and straight. And to take it deeper, you're just going to bend your elbows. This will draw your chest closer to the top of your thighs. Now keep breathing here. One more round of breath. Inhale, lunge, bend your right knee, shift your shoulders over your wrists. And exhale, step back, high plank. <clears throat> now your opportunity to move through your chaturanga, use your exhale to lower down, whether or not you're on or off your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Other side. <clears throat> Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Kick back through your left heel. Exhale, step through to your left thumb. Into lunge. Left knee over left ankle, right Knee and heel are lifted. So you're gazing out in front of you. Shine through your collarbone. Inhale. Exhale. Pyramid variation. Straighten your left leg here. So both legs are long and straight. Wrists come under your shoulders. Now you want to keep a long, flat spine as much as you can. And then to take a deeper, bend your elbows. Breathing into the backside of your left leg. One more round of breath. Inhale, shift back into lunge, bend your left knee. Exhale, high plank, step back, move through your chaturanga. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Breath in. Exhale, let it go, breath out. Let's move along with our flow. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. So we're not opening up through our hips. We're keeping our hips square to the ground, lifting through the heel. Exhale, step through right in between your hands here. So we're setting up for warrior two. 
Drop your left foot so it becomes parallel to the back end of the mat. Now very slightly rotate your toes up towards the top of the mat so they're just at a very slight angle. Notice right away heel to arch alignment. Heel of your right foot draws in line with the arch of your left foot back behind you. Now that we're set up with our feet, inhale, rise up, warrior two. Finding a deep, generous bend through your right knee. Again, gaze down, heel to arch alignment, right toes face out in front of you. Now you're hugging in through your low belly. You're not sucking in, but you're engaging right at your belly button. Reach your arms equally to the front and back of the space. You don't want noodle arms. You want straight, engaged, pointing to the front and back of the space equally. <clears throat> if your shoulders are lifting up to your ears, go ahead and draw them down. Lengthen through the top of your head. And keep on breathing. Lower body stays the same. On your next inhale, reverse warrior. So paint the sky back behind you. Little to no weight here in your left arm. The main point of this posture is to stretch the right side body. Take notice here of your right knee. Is it drawing in towards your right big toe? If so, draw it back towards your pinky toe. Open up a little bit more through your hips. Hold here on your exhale. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, extended side angle. So work your right fingers forward. When you can no longer go any further, go ahead and tick-tock your arms. Six to 12. Keep that right arm pressed into the inside of your right thigh. Draw your left shoulder down your back. Feel this expansion through your arms. Right knee works towards the pinky edge of your right foot. Inhale, rise up, arms come to a T, straighten both legs. We're moving into reverse triangle. Reach your right arm back behind you. So arms are straight and long, legs are straight and long. Stretching through your right side body. Keep on breathing. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, trikonasana. Reach your fingers to the front of the space when you can no longer tick tock your arms. So your right fingers are pointing towards your right toes here, or maybe your right hand draws to the inside of your right thigh and presses it back. This allows you to open up through your chest a little bit more. Now listen up, use your core. Inhale, rise up, five-pointed star over your left shoulder. So toes out, heels in, create an X with your body. Maybe you gaze up to the sky. Exhale, horse, draw your hands through heart center and sink down through your hips. Now this is a big hip opener. We've already prepped a little bit, but kind of move around if you need to. Kind of settle in to what feels comfortable. And then let's find our alignment. So knees are gonna track over your second toe specifically. You want your head directly over your shoulders, over your wrists. So a lot of us tend to kind of fold forward in this posture. Lift up through your head, find that length. And then maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, rise up. Arms come to a T, feet become parallel. We're lifting through our heart. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. So hinge at your hips, send your hips back behind you. Keep a flat spine all the way down. Maybe you take your gaze out in front of you. Arms stay to a T, they'll eventually drop down to the ground here. <clears throat> wide leg forward fold. This is also a deep hip opener. So your toes are pointed forward. Gaze is back behind you. Maybe you grab for opposite edges of your feet, your ankles, your calves, your big toes, whatever you can, and pull your heart a little bit more in between your legs here. 
you may feel yourself shift a little bit of weight towards the balls of your feet. That is okay. That is going to draw your hips directly over your ankles. Keep on breathing here. Release your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge to the front of the space. Creep and crawl, bend your right knee. Your left heel lifts here. Now we're gonna move on with our flow. Our low body stays the same. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms all the way overhead. Fingers point towards the sky. You feel length through your side body. Also notice your right knee. You should continue to stay stuck over your right ankle. Again, through your low belly, maybe you take your gaze up. I feel just a little bit of a back bend within this posture. Feel the stretch through the front side of your left hip, your hip flexor. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms, swoop them down and back. So now your palms face the ground. Your body is in one long line from your heel all the way up through your head. Your gaze is lifted, your chest is lifted. Keep the bend in your right knee. Inhale, crescent proper. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. So draw your fingers, your right fingers back behind you. Left fingers draw towards the front of your mat. Keep lifting through your head, keep bending through your right knee. Keep breathing. Inhale, crescent proper. Exhale, lunge, drop your hands, step back, high plank. Move through your chaturanga. With your breath, one breath, one movement. <clears throat> Meeting and down dog. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through right in between your hands. Now setting up for warrior two, drop your right foot parallel to the back end of the mat. Find your heel to arch alignment. Rise up, warrior two. And then settle in here through your left knee. Engage through your arms. Move you gaze over your left fingers. Keep on breathing. Root down through the blade edge of your right foot. Next inhale, reverse warrior. Paint the sky back behind you. Feel the stretch here along your left side body. Breathing in between each individual rib and stretching your fingers back a little bit more. Inhale, arms come to a T. Exhale. Triangle pose. Straighten your left leg. Send it forward. Tick tock your arms. Six and twelve. Both legs long and straight. Left fingers point towards your left toes. Draw your right shoulder down your back. Now we're not flopping into our left side body. We're lifting up. We're finding that engagement on our obliques. Now use your core. Inhale, rise up. Five pointed star, toes out, heels in, create that X with your body. Now maybe you gaze up to the sky. Exhale, horse, sink it low. I'll come facing you guys for the sake of the camera. So look down at your knees. They should be tracking over your toes. Draw your hands down to your thighs. Your thumbs are pointed in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist to the right. So draw your left shoulder down to your right knee. Maybe you're pressing your left knee away from you, feeling a little bit more twist through your spine. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Draw your right shoulder to your left knee. Inhale, back to center. One more, each side, twist to the right. Center on your inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Draw your hands to your heart. Exhale, sink it a little bit lower. 
Inhale, rise up, five pointed start. No, sorry, arms to a T, feet become parallel. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, prasarita padatanasana, hinge forward. Keep your spine straight the whole way down. Eventually dropping your hands, dropping your gaze back behind you. Hands under your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, lunge to the front of your space. Bend your left knee, creep and crawl. Right heel lifts. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Low body stays the same. Fingers reach high to the sky. Now your right leg is long and straight. Maybe lifting through your right heel a little bit more. Exhale, airplane your arms. Swoop them down and back. Inhale, crescent proper. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, back to center, Anjane Asana. Exhale, lunge, step back, high plank. Move through your chaturanga. Whether or not you're on or off your knees, use it to build strength. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Deep breath here. Exhale, let it go. Now we're gonna link all of that together. One breath, one movement, picking up the pace. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. <clears throat> Exhale, knee to nose. Shift your shoulders over your wrists, hug your navel to your spine. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step directly in between your hands, setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle proper. Inhale, rise up, armed five pointed star. Exhale, horse, sink it low, draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, five arms to a T, feet parallel. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, prasarita padatanasana, move slow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, top of the mat. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up through your fingers. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, lunge, plant your hands, step back, high plank, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift it forward, press away through the mat. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through in between your hands, setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle proper. Inhale, rise up, five pointed star. Exhale, horse, sink it low. Drop your hands, thumbs point in. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center, hands at your heart. Exhale, sinking a little bit lower into your horse. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet become parallel. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, Prasarita Padasanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge to the front of your space. Bend your left knee, creep and crawl. Low body stays the same. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjane Asana. Exhale, airplane your arms, swoop down and back. Inhale, crescent. And exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, crescent proper, arms reach forward. Exhale, lunge, step back, high plank, chaturanga. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Awesome work, y'all. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Now use the strength of your arms to walk your hands back to your feet. Forward fold. You can always bend your knees if you need. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise, arms overhead. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center, Sama Sikhi T. Go ahead and release your hands into Tadasana. So we're going to move into the balancing portion of class here. So I want you guys to stay at the back of your mat facing forward. For the sake of the camera, I'm going to face the camera here as I demonstrate these balancing postures. So. We're going to move into tree two times on each side. So first set of tree, go ahead and root. You know, we're going to switch it up. I always start by standing on our left leg, but we're going to stand on our right leg first this time. So lift your five toes off your right foot. Go ahead and lower them down one at a time. Feel that solid foundation built right underneath your foot. Almost imagine roots growing down. Now your big toe is going to be kind of a stabilizer. So if you feel yourself starting to move like trees do in the wind, press down through the big toe of your standing leg and that will help kind of guide you back into your strength. So from here, engage your whole leg, lift right above your kneecap, plug in through your hip. Now you can either find kickstand, bring it to your shin, or up to the inside of your right thigh. Now, one main thing you want to make sure is that you avoid your knee. You never want to put your left foot directly on your knee. And I cringe every time I see a yoga picture with somebody in tree pose like that because I see it so often. Avoid the knee, either above it or below it. Now again, we're getting two sets on each side. So take it where you are today. If you are able to draw your hands to heart center. Now find one unmoving object in front of you. Maybe it's a picture, maybe it's a dot on the wall. Just something to focus on, something to draw your attention to. It's your drishti, your internal focus. Focus here on your left knee. You want to draw it back behind you, opening through your hips a little bit more. Press the sole of your left foot into the crease of your right thigh, just as much as you're pushing back from your right thigh into your sole of your left foot. Keep breathing here. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. And release. Awesome job. You can pedal it out. Again, we're doing two sets on each side. So now we're rooting through the left standing leg. Pick up the toes, drop them down one at a time. Find your foundation on that left side here. And then maybe a similar variation with your right foot. Either kickstand, bring it to your calf, or to the inside of your left thigh here. 
We're getting one more time after this. So take it in stages. You will have an opportunity to grow your branches within the next set. So with this one, we're finding our foundation. Root down through the big toe of your left foot. Lift up through your kneecap of your standing leg. Plug in through your left hip. Lift up through the top of your head. Now focus here on your right knee. Draw it back behind you. Open up just a little bit more through your hips and keep breathing. Focus on your drishti here. Go back to that unmoving object. One inhale. Hold for your exhale. And release your foot. Awesome job. Pedal it out. Now we're going to do one more time each side. So we'll give you some variations if you want to take it up a notch from here. So root down through your right foot. Grow those roots down below you. If you were at kickstand last time, maybe try up at your calf. If you were at your calf last time, maybe draw up to your thigh. Now if you were already at your thigh last time, everybody bring your hands to heart center regardless of where you're at. And you have the option to grow your branches. Just as trees do, there's so many variations. Anyone can be yours. Find what works for you. Hold your posture here, lifting up through the top of your head, pressing down through the big toe of your foot. Keep on breathing. One inhale. Draw your hands back to heart center on your exhale. And release. Go ahead and pedal it out. We're going to do second set here, standing through your left leg. Again, if you are at kickstand, take it up. If you are at your calf, take it up. If you are already at your calf, go ahead and head back there. Everybody bring hands to heart center. Grow your branches if you would like. Again, any variation that speaks to you. Keep on breathing. Keep on working your right knee back behind you, opening through your hips, lifting through your head and your chest, rooting down through the big toe of your left standing leg. One more inhale. Exhale, draw your hands back to heart center. And release. Awesome job, elbows. Virtual high fives, nice job. So that was the standing series of class. So you guys are at the back of your mat facing forward. Go ahead and inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back into plank. Now hold here in your high plank. We're holding for a minute. Now whether or not you're in a high plank, you also have the option to drop down to your forearm. So one forearm at a time. If so, your hands are going to be at an 11. Um, your palms pressed into the ground here. Now you also have an option to interlace your hands right in front of your gaze. Either way, if your hands are at an 11 or interlaced in front of you, we're pressing them out of way from our forearms so much that we lift up almost right in between our shoulder blades here. You want to find that. Find your engagement through your core. Shine your chest forward. Energetically work your elbows back behind you. Drop down to one knee at a time if you need. We have 15 seconds more. Feel your strength here. Shoulders should be in line with your hips, in line with your heels. Take a deep breath in. Hold for your exhale. Go ahead and release onto the ground. Maybe stack your hands one on top of the other. Draw your forehead down onto your hands. Just taking a couple breaths here to slow down your heart rate, slow down your breath. Your hands under your shoulders, curl your toes. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Moving along to our peak posture of class, Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through right in between your hands. So we're coming back into our warrior two. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. So we've been here before. Now you have the option to hang out here in your extended side angle if you're working on building the strength within your arms and your legs. If you want to move forward, drop your left hand to your hip. Now I like to use a block for our Chandrasana. And I'm going to place the block, again, it can be a stack of books, it can be a water bottle, a can of soup, whatever it is that just gives you a little bit of height, about a foot in front of the pinky toe of your front foot. <clears throat> so again, back into our extended side angle, left hand to your left hip. Now, toe heel your left foot in a couple feet. We are bringing a closer stance. That's going to allow us to draw our fingers down to that block. Now, in the same motion, we're lifting off of our left foot. We're balancing on our right foot. We want to bring our left leg as parallel to the mat as we can. Flex your left toes. Lift out through the top of your head. Kick back through the sole of your left foot. Now last step, lift your left arm. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Keep breathing. Little to no weight through your right fingers, reaching up through your left fingers. On your exhale, settle back into warrior two. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, warrior two, back of the space. Now I'm going to grab my prop and take it to the back of my space because I want it about a foot in front of my left pinky toe. We're going to move through this on the other side. So extended side angle. Draw your right hand to your right hip. Toe heel your right foot in significantly. This is going to allow you to draw your fingers down to the prop. And then as you lift off of your left standing leg, your right leg becomes as parallel to the ground as you can. Again, flexing those toes, kicking back through the sole of your right foot. Last step, lift your arm high. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Now keep breathing here. And exhale, slowly lower back into warrior two. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, prasarita padatanasana. Wide leg forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, front of the space, step back, and move through your very last chaturanga of class. Make it strong. Good job, everybody. Meet back in downward facing dog. You can go ahead and drop to your knees here. We're going to take a seat towards the middle of the mat. We're going to take Janyu Shasana, which is seated forehead to knee. So we want our left knee bent and our right leg extends out in front of us here. So we're flexing through our right toes. Your left foot comes to the inside of your right thigh. Now we're going to inhale, lift our arms overhead, square your shoulders towards your right foot, and then exhale, forward fold. Now, take your gaze down to your knee. We're not fully rounding into this. We want to keep our spine long and straight, our cervical spine. Maybe draw your left shoulder down. We want to square your shoulders to the mat. To release, slowly walk your hands up your legs. And switch out your legs here. So you're bending your right knee. Your left leg is long and straight. Flex your left toes. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Keep lifting through your heart and your chest. But if you want to take your gaze down to your knee to release some from your cervical spine, that is okay. Take a deeper bend your elbows. Maybe drop your right shoulder down to square the earth. Breathing into the back side of your left leg here. 
Inhale, rise back up. Both legs out in front of you. We're moving into Paschimottanasana, forward fold. So release any real estate underneath your hips. Toes flex towards your face. Inhale, lift up through your fingers. Exhale, fold at your hips, or hinge at your hips here. Keeping your spine long and straight, keeping your chest lifted just like before. You want to take a deeper bend your elbows. Now always know you can bend through your knees as much as you need. The most important thing is the, the spine being straight. Deep breathing. To release, slowly walk your hands back up your legs. Go ahead and come lying onto your back. We're going to take a supine twist here. So we've been doing a lot of hip opening through class. So this time we're going to take eagle legs. So wrap your right leg over your left. Now you want to lift your hips up and draw them to the right. Now as you do that, your knees are automatically just going to drop to the left. So drop your knees to the left. Maybe you take your gaze over to the right. Taking a nice deep twist through your entire spine here. Take your breath from your lungs down into your toes. Inhale back to center with your knees. You can unwind your legs, maybe cuddle them out. And then find this on the other side. Wrap your left knee over your right. Lift your hips up, draw them to the left, and then your knees are automatically going to drop to the right. Maybe you gaze over your left shoulder. Maybe you close your eyes. Breathing through your entire spine. One more round of breath. Inhale back to center and wind your legs. Maybe cuddle them out. And then hug up into a little tiny yogi ball, curling up. Exhale, full body stretch. Keep your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms back behind you. And come into your final Shavasana. Bring your arms down next to your body. Close your eyes. Now settle into your space here. So shimmy your shoulders. Maybe splay your feet open wide towards the edges of the mat. Take up your space. Maybe you take your heels all the way off of your mat. Ever feels good for you. But close your eyes. You have the option with your palms to either face them up if you are looking to receive good energy, good light. If you are looking to ground yourself, go ahead and place your palms down onto the ground. It's a simple gesture, but allows you to either open yourself up or ground yourself in this final posture. Relaxing through your toes, letting go soft. Relax through your feet, the soles of your feet, your ankles. Relax through your calves, through your knees. Take notice of where you are holding onto your attention. Let it go through your thighs, through your hips. Let your hips maybe open up just a little bit more. Melt through your belly, through your fingers, through your wrists. Release any tension through your arms, through your shoulders. Maybe you draw your shoulders down into the earth a little bit more. 
soften here through your cervical spine, soften through your jaw. Maybe you release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Maybe your lips come slightly down. Soften through your cheeks, through your ears. Let your ears melt down to the ground. Soften through your eyes, through your eyebrows. Soften through your temple. Soften through the space directly between your eyebrows, your third eye center. Light that area up. Take that light and send it out through the crown of your head. Soften everything while also feeling the support of the ground. As if you're being supported by a cloud. Your body is heavy and soft at the same time. Hang out here in your Shavasana as long as you would like. You certainly don't get enough of this time just being still on our mat. Maybe you come back to your four to five count inhales and exhales. Maybe you breathe for 15 to 20 more inhales and exhales. Maybe you stay until the song that is playing is done. Take your time. The honor has been mine. Thank you so much for joining. Again, my name is Mackenzie. Stay tuned on Yoga Pod for Collins Facebook page. We will continue to have multiple free classes live streamed until we're able to get back into the studio. So thank you so much for joining. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. We'll see you next time.